back. Sorry for the mic issues on the last one. I didn't pay attention to the location. I apologize. I've got that fixed now. Remember, dark theme, high contrast is what we're using. Problem set six, we're working on cache in Python right now. So we're going to get started on that right now. Let's take a look. So cache in Python, we're writing the program cache.py. We're going to use get float, which means we actually have to import that from the CS50 library. We didn't have to do anything on Mar Mario because that was all built in. So we're going to start with just that. This is going to be another very simple code. It was actually pretty simple in C. We're going to make it pretty simple and actually even more simple now in Python. So let's start with what we need to do. So we're going to be importing get float. So let's start with that. So we're going to do from CS50 import get float. And we're going to do that first because we're going to end up using get float right away. So the first thing we're going to do here based on the notes, prompt the user for an amount of change owed until a non-negative value is provided. So while true again, we're going to look for change owed is going to be equal to get float. We need to have these in a float value, right? So that's why we're going to put that there and we're just going to put change owed. Colon, close that out. And actually let's put the space and the end quote and close that out. And then if change owed is greater than or equal to zero, great. We're going to go ahead and break out of this. Now we need to convert the change owed to cents. In other words, we need to multiply by 100 and round it to the nearest integer. All right. So change owed cents, right, is going to be, let's put that in cents, equal to round. Now we don't need to import the math libraries. This is all built in. We need to round the change owed times 100. So that's how we're going to get it to the nearest integer. Next thing we're going to do is initialize our number of coins to zero. Easy. Number of coins equal to zero. Done. Finally, we're going to calculate the number of coins needed. Now this is going to be a very simple, very redundant function. I did it in a more simple way on cache.c. You'll look at my code here. And remember, this was not the best way to do it, but it sufficed for the code that we needed to do. We just divided by 25, 10, 5, 1. We're going to do a similar redundancy here on cache.py, and we're going to look up the same style of stuff here. So let's go into while change owed sense is greater than zero. So anytime it's greater than nothing, if change owed sense. greater than or equal to 25, then we're just going to do change owed cents. And I'm going to be using this a lot, so I'm just going to copy and paste this. Change owed cents um, minus equal 25. So we're going to take 25 away from that every time until we can't take it anymore. So the number of coins plus equal 1. Now, on top of that, let's move this if into our while loop. There we go. So on top of that, we need not just 25, we need 10, 5, and 1, right? So in Python, it's L if, right? So change owed sense after removing 25 every time we can is greater than or equal to 10. Then we need to change owed sense minus equals. Ten, and let's go. You see, Python always puts these little notes for when you're doing something wrong. I'm going to go put those in up there. So change owed cents minus equal to ten. That's going to give us our dimes, right? So now we need num coins again. Number of coins plus equal to one, and now we need another l if for our nickels. So change owed cents. Now if it's greater or equal to five. Then we need change owed cents minus equal to five, and we need number of coins plus equal to one. And then finally, else, our last possibility. Now this is going to be the last potential, right? So now we know it has to at least be divisible by one. So we don't have to put that first line in there. We can just do change owed cents minus equal one. And then we can do numcoins plus equal 
1. You don't need to declare if it's greater or equal than 1 because if it's less than 5, less than 10, less than 25 and all that, there, it only can be divisible by 1 if at all it is. So finally, we just need to print the number of coins and we're going to do print number of coins. And it is that simple, 31 lines it took us to accomplish what it took us in C72 to accomplish. So let's take a look at this real quick. Go ahead and run our check on it real quick. Oh, it's going to fail because I just realized I need a colon here. So let me put that in there, and then as soon as this fails. And also we're going to change this right here. It's not equals plus, it's plus equal. And I see another one here. It should be minus equal to 5. So let's run that now that we've got all those updated. And just so you guys can see it, I'll go ahead and move this up here. You guys are all set. This is CS50 Week 6. That was Cash Python. I am Devin, and as always, you are awesome. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if these things are helpful. We'll see you soon.